folks, this is Daily Spirit for Youth, a daily devotional that helps you grow closer to God and apply His Word to your life. Today's reading entitled, Suffering Joyfully, written by Jean Calvin Pindo, is based on Acts 5, verse 33 until 42. I will read verse 41. The apostles left the Sanhedrin, rejoicing because they had been counted worthy of suffering disgrace for the name. In general, no one likes to suffer. If someone likes to suffer, the people around them will think they are strange. After Jesus' ascension to heaven, the disciples went out to preach the gospel and performed many miracles which angered the high priest and his Sadduki followers. What angered them was the content of the good news that the disciples preached that Jesus was the Messiah, even though Jesus had died on the cross and was accused of being a rebel. It was impossible for them to recognize and accept Jesus as the Messiah. That's why they arrested and flogged the disciples. However, instead of being afraid and stopping preaching the gospel, the disciples continued to preach the gospel with joyful hearts. The suffering they endured for preaching the gospel did not make them afraid. Instead, they rejoiced because they had been counted worthy of suffering disgrace for the name of Jesus. Folks, were the disciples freaks? Of course not. For the disciples, suffering for the name of Jesus was an honor. In fact, they were proud to be worthy of suffering for their faith. Because not everyone was given the opportunity or the trust to suffer for the name of Jesus. As disciples of Jesus, if we have to suffer, do it with joy. Suffering joyfully for the name of Jesus is a form of our witness to many people. The good news we bring can be in the form of good and righteous living examples wherever we are. If because of that we suffer, rejoice. Now let us ponder these questions. Why did the disciples' evangelism strike fear into the hearts of the religious leaders at the time? And what does evangelism look like today? Please share your thoughts in the comment section below, or you can, you can comment on other people's thoughts. Now, let us pray. Dear Lord, we pray for those who suffer for preaching the gospel. May they continue to be strengthened and remain joyful. In Jesus' name we pray, Amen. If you feel blessed through this devotional, please share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel to receive blessings every day. God bless you.